Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about headaches, especially myogenic headaches, meaning headaches that are uh, originating in dysfunctional musculature in your neck or around the head. These are sometimes referred to as cervicogenic headaches, i.e. headaches stemming from the spine or from the neck. But this is not really appropriate because also vascular headaches migraines, for example, or neurological, neurogenic headaches, for example, uh, occipital neuralgia. Technically also cervicogenic. So it's not the best uh, terminology for uh, dif distinguishing between these variants. I like to use myogenic headache, Mus headache induced by muscular dysfunction. When you're examining a patient for myogenic headache, we have some common denominators that we're looking for and some also very common culprits. One of those, I can give the trapezius muscle, for example, uh, as the first example. If you're suspecting that the trapezius muscle is the cause of the patient's headache, you get a good tug on one, a uh, good hold of the muscle fibers and you squeeze them for a good 10 seconds. If there is obvious muscular dysfunction, you're going to be able to trigger the headache within five, six seconds, really, even faster in some circumstances. And the patient will have headaches coming from the back and into the temporal area. And then you ask them a very important question. You ask the patient, is this the same headache that you're suffering from? If they say no, all right, the incidental finding and interesting as, as well, but it's not what you're looking for. You move on. So that's how you identify. <clears throat> well, that's how you that's how you perform the examination. You basically find the fibers that are tight. You squeeze them and look for refer, referred headache. Now there are several common muscles that co can contribute to headaches. Myogenic headaches. We have trapezius, levator scapula, we have the sternocleidal mastoid, splenius capitus, we have the longissimus and splenius services muscles, the suboccipitals, and especially the rectus capitus obliquus superior. And then we also have the jaw muscles, temporalis, masseter, and the lateral pterygoid. These are all common culprits in myogenic headaches. So you give each of these muscles, you have to find them obviously, and you give it a good squeeze. You look for reproduction of the symptoms. Once you find one or more muscles that the patient confirms, this is indeed the type of headache that I'm suffering from. Now you will usually want to strengthen that muscle. In almost all circumstances, weakness of the muscle i.e. poor work capacity, which is why they worsen when they do um, gym work, for example. Poor work capacity of the muscle leads to inflammation and referred headaches. So for the trap, levator scapula, SEM, splenius muscles, uh, longissimus muscles, the, the suboccipitals, and the pterygoid, this virtually always holds true. And when I say virtually, I, I really mean always. It always holds true. The exceptions are the temporalis and the master muscles. I usually find that when the patient has trigger points or whatever you want to call them in the master or temporalis that is causing referred headaches, it's coming from uh, br bruxing during the night or bruxing during the day, i.e. clenching, jaw clenching. For these patients, they really need to, well, uh, learn to master their stress, stress levels, but also be more conscious about how they are abusing their jaw, so to say. So make an effort not to clench, basically, that's what I'm saying. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can read my TMD article. But this is more or less the approach I use for uh, identification of myogenic headaches. Trap, give it a good squeeze. Levator scapula, good squeeze. Longissimus muscles, good squeeze. 
When you go to the um, oblique superior muscle, you basically identify the transverse process of the C1. You go slightly medial, and there you have it. You give it a good squeeze. Patient screams. They say, this is exactly the headache I'm suffering from. There you go. You train the suboccipitals. Masseter, very ident easy to identify. Of course, also the temporalis. When you're going for the lateral pterygoid, you put on a glove. Follow the ridges of the teeth back until you find a pocket of muscle. The jaw should be down a little bit to the side to open up the, the space there to, to touch the muscle. Give it a firm, uh, continuous squeeze and look for reproduction of symptoms. So that's an easy uh, way to identify myogenic causes of headache. In most circumstances, as I said, you want to strengthen the muscle that is dysfunctional. You can also ask yourself, well, why is the muscle weak in the first place? Do they have droopy shoulders? Do they have scapular dyskinesia? Do they have poor neck posture? Do they have a lot of stress? And so on and so on. All right. So I hope this video was informative and I wish you all a great day.